I, in my master time, I was really into event history analysis, but then I realized that uh, even if we know the, the effect of variable, we cannot say so much about it because there is a, even if we find a relationship between independent variable and dependent variable, I think I wanted to go a bit farther or like a bit all the way. And then I think this, this understanding is um, an alternative way or alternative perspective to understand path first. But of course, I, I think it's better to combine event history model and the, the, the traditional model. Yes. yes. Okay. Um, I, I think it's. it's Nice and interesting index you propose, uh, but you see a big difference from mortality. In mortality, everyone dies. Mm -hmm. uh, here, many people remain childless, and this very strongly influences your index. So your index is still mixing up childlessness and timing. And I think if, I mean, you go into the decomposition, but even before that, you could see, you could compute the contribution of years without children among those who never had children and then separate the contributions of years without children among those who had children. And this would give you much better sense of quantum and timing, because otherwise this interpretation you have at the end of this slide is very confusing. Uh, uh, Canada, Japan, and the Netherlands spend half of the reproduction period without children. Yeah. Imagine a country where 50% of women would remain childless, and 50% would have a child at the age of 15. Your interpretation would be the average woman spends half of their reproductive life without children. Yeah. But this is again a combination of quantum and tempo. So separating these two parts of the index mm -hmm. right from the start would make it much much easier to interpret and understand what's going on. Okay, okay. Just quickly response. So like, sometimes I'm really confused by my original idea. <laughs> But uh, 
I repeatedly think like, is it really meaningful index? But then I back to this uh, graph. Sorry, this is an example of marriage. <laughs> That's not the easiest one to understand. <laughs> yeah, this is an example of marriage, my previous paper. Right. But uh, I will skip the mic microphone. So uh, the black one is the Swedish female, the probability of first marriage in 1970. And the pink one is the 2050. So I want to know. Why the probability of first, this is a marriage, but the same as first one. Why is the probability change like this? And then I, my idea is I want to decompose C is a scale, and mu is the location, and sigma is the variance. And this is, I think, is clearly saying that if 100% scale change means the, the size you know, the black one, just a complex, complex to orange one, purely. And then if location, 100% location influences, this is the same shape, but slide to right. And the variance is uh, changing shape and the size to become a green one. So, I got similar criticized from another people, but mathematically at least, we can really separate uh, these three. And then of course maybe there are clear and better index, but so far my, my brain uh, arrived in this level. So if, if anyone knows better method, please uh, advise me later. Thank you very much. Thank you.